In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Grundfos UP Series Circulator Model, which is a great and reliable product for creating instant hot water in your home. So I just want to give you the most important things that you need to know about this if you're looking to make a purchase or if you already have one. So I'm not going to show you how to install it, but I'll walk you through the steps that are in the manual for how to make a clean and perfect install every time. And an example of when you might want to use this is if you have a very large home or a room that's far away from your water heater and you don't get instant hot water there because it takes a long time for the hot water to get there. So the circulator pump fixes that every time. And this is also used in radiant closed loop heating applications as well as snow melting applications. Water heaters have a spigot at the bottom where you drain the tank. To install the pump, you take off the spigot and pipe the heater into the circulator pump. But these can also be installed on top of a heater as you can see in this picture. So if we say this is installed at the top part of the heater, the water from the heater leaves from the top and splits throughout the entire house and branches out. Then the leftover water is sent through a return line and wraps back around and runs into the water heater where it is heated up and recirculated. So there's arrows on the side of the pump that indicate the flow of the direction of the water through the pump. And these could be installed vertically or horizontally on pipelines. And you just want to make sure that this motor shaft is always horizontal once it's installed, like you can see in the graphic below. It's preferable to install circulators in a vertical pipe pumping upwards, and you can see the direction here, so it's pumping upwards. And this position ensures that the pump shaft is horizontal, which reduces thrust bearing load. Pumping downwards, which would be like this, in a vertical pipe is not recommended, uh, as this may lead to air locking in the pump. However, pumping downwards is acceptable provided an effective air vent is incorporated in the system before the pump. Under no circumstances should the pump be installed with the vertical shaft or where the shaft falls below the horizontal plane, as you can see in the image, which is from the Grundfos manual. It's recommended from the manual to install isolation valves on each side of the pump so that if you want to ever service this or just replace it completely, you can cut off the water to the pump and then just take it out of your system easily. It's also recommended for the manual to try to avoid installing elbows or branch tees or any similar fitting around the pipes of the pump so that you have better flow to the pump. Thoroughly clean and flush the system prior to pump installation. Do not install the pump at the lowest point of the system where dirt and sediment naturally collect. Install an air vent at the high point or points of the system to remove accumulated air. Ensure the water does not enter the terminal box during the installation process. In an open system, install the pump in the supply line. The suction side of the pump should be flooded with water. Ensure that the static head requirement from table 2B is achieved. In a closed loop, install a safety relief valve to protect against temperature and pressure buildup. If there are excessive suspended particles in the water, it is recommended that a strainer or filter be installed and cleaned regularly. And lastly, do not start the pump until the system has been filled. If you run into a problem where your pump seizes up or seems to stop pumping water at all, you can put your ear to it and hear that the motor on the inside is still trying to go and you can put your hand on the pipes around it and you'll feel that they're very hot. So what you do in this situation is take a little hammer and just tap on this lightly and it should fix the problem on the inside. This happens rarely, but if it does, that's all you have to do. And these run for years without problems usually and the cleaner your water is, the longer these will run. You can install this Grundfos timer to program when you want the pump to run. And I have another video where I show you how to program it. It's pretty simple. You can check that out. You can also install an Aquastat, which controls the temperature range the product will run for. The nomenclature on the front of Grundfos pumps tells you everything you need to know about the pump model, but it can be very confusing sometimes. So I have another video where I break down all this information, everything you need to know about the pump. So make sure you check that video out. And like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel because we come out with helpful videos all the time about the most important products in the industry.